friends to be found. Let's talk in English. Learning together can be fun. Hey everybody, and welcome to today's show of Let's Talk in English on PTS and on the radio. Of course, my name is Gabe, and my name is Andrea. What's your name? Well, we're glad that you joined us today. And right now, we're going to learn some key words in today's lesson called "rich, rich." Our first key word is "rich." Say it with me: "rich." Kyle must be rich. He just bought a new sports car. Our next key word is cash card. Cash card. Cash cards are a good way to pay for something. Finance. Finance. Billy knows a lot about finances. He manages his money well. Scan. Scan. Please scan your cash card to pay. Useless. Useless. The book had useless information. It didn't help me at all. It will help you to learn and say our key words together again. Here we go. The first one is rich. Rich. Cash card. Cash card. Finance. Finance. Scan. Scan. Useless. Useless. Well, those key words are not useless. They're very useful. They will help you. And now, I know something else that will help us finding out today's mission. Eddie. Yes. You know, I am a very rich meerkat. Ah,、uh -huh, right. Yes, you are. You're rich, and you're also very useful, Eddie. That's right. Do you know、right. why I'm rich? Why are you rich? Because I have so many good friends. Yes,、oh, you do. Oh, Eddie, that's sweet. So、and、you're you... not rich with money; you're rich with friends.、Mm -hmm. Okay. And you also have very many good missions. So, what's today's mission?、Uh, missions. Okay.、Uh, today's mission: How much money is on the card? How much money is on the card? Well, let's see if we can find out in today's lesson, right now. Renee is in the diner with Simon's brother, Rich. He has come from the big city to visit his little brother. Simon comes in to pick up Renee after work. He is surprised to see Rich there. Rich gives Simon a big hug. Rich has a card and gifts for him. Simon's rich brother always gives him things. Rich tells Simon to open the card. Simon opens the card. It has a cash card and a gift certificate for a financial planner inside. Well, we see in this read it paragraph that someone has come back into the life of small town, and who is that? Well, that is Rich. Rich is Simon's brother. That's right, Simon's brother, Rich, and Rich is rich. Wait, those sound the same. Well, that's true. They do sound the same. Many English words do. Here we see Rich as a man's name. It's a short way to say the name Richard. You can say Richard or Rich. And of course, rich has another meaning, and rich is one of our key words. Let's look at this word, rich. Rich. Now, if you are rich, that means you have a lot of money or a lot of things. You are rich. We find out in our read-it paragraph that Simon's brother, Rich, 
is rich, and he always brings Simon and Renee many things. So, if you are rich, maybe you like to give people many things or buy people things. If you are rich, you can do that. Well, let's look at this next、uh, set of keywords called cash card. Cash card. A cash card is like a debit card, and you can use it like cash. You have to pay money for a cash card. I can buy a cash card for five hundred dollars, and then I can use the card until all of the five hundred dollars are gone. And a cash card is a lot easier to carry than carrying a lot of money around. Well, let's go and listen to Thomas. 大家好，我是 Thomas。这边一开始呢，来看几种 to 的用法。一个是表目的的不定词，比如说 ，He has come from the big city to visit his little brother。所以他进城来是为了要表目的的不定词来拜访他的弟弟。另外一个用法是 ，Simon comes in to pick up Renee after work。所以 Simon 进到店里来，为的是要接。为的是要接 Rene 下班，也是表目的的不定词。接下来是 be supposed to， 应该要做什么 ？Be supposed to. He is supposed to see Rich here. 他要跟 Rich 在这里见面。To 后面接原形。接下来是告诉某人去做某事。Tell somebody to do something. Rich tells Simon to open the card. 所以呢 ，Rich 告诉 Simon 去做这件事情。这是几个 to 的用法。接下来看 rich 这个形容词是有钱的。He is rich 就等于 he has a lot of money. He has a lot of money. 他有很多的钱。He is wealthy. W e a l t h y 也是有钱的意思。另外 ，rich 也可以是富含很多。比如说 ，He is rich in ideas. 他呢是点子王。他里面有很多的点子。This place is rich in oil. 这个地方产油，这样的一个意思。如果你的 rich 加 e s 的话 ，riches 指的也是你的财富，就等于 wealth。w e a l t h 这个字哈，后面提到 cash card， cash card 是现金卡，所以它呢本来买的时候就有一个储值的面额在里面了，所以你就从那个里面一直扣钱。之前提过的 debit card。是记账卡，那个是你在银行有个户头，但是你如果银行里面有一千块，你签的时候就直接连线从你银行户头扣。但是 credit card 呢，可能花你没有拥有的钱哦，所以 credit card 是最危险的，可能自制力要最高的人来使用会最好。我们来看下一段。You're giving me more gifts to help me plan my finances. Thank you, Rich. You're welcome. One day you will be rich like me. <laughs> I don't want to be rich. So, what is this card? It's a cash card. They are popular in the city. People say they are the new debit cards. How do you use it? You scan the card when you pay for something. Then the money is taken from the card. Well, we see that Rich once again gives Simon something that will help him plan his finances. Do you think Simon is very happy about this? Simon doesn't seem very happy about all of this. Rich is always giving him things and always giving him money, always helping him. Even when he doesn't want it. That's true. Well, we want to help you learn the keywords from this conversation. The first one is finance. Say it with me. Finance. Now, when you talk about finance, you are talking about anything that has to do with money, buying things, saving money, using money, investing, are all part of. Finance. That's right. Anything that has to do with managing your money are your finances, and so you can plan your finances. And it is important to plan or to think about your finances. Well, friends, let's look at that next key word here. It is the verb scan. 
Dan. Now, when you're using a credit card or a cash card, the person at the store will scan your card. When you scan a card, that means a light is used to read. All of the information on the card. That's right. And if you scan something at a store, then the computer there knows that you are paying for something. Of course, if you go to a library and want to borrow a book, then they might scan the back of your book so you can take it out. Or they also might ask you to scan your card. Then you just move your card across something. Well, we have more to learn. Let's go see Thomas. 这里我们看到 finances 这个字 ，finance finance 这个字有两种念法，你可以念 finance 或者念 finance 都可以。比如说我们的财政部叫做 Ministry of Finance， Ministry M I N I S T R Y 是一个部门的意思，部会 Ministry of Finance。比如说你也可以念成我呢。在大学的时候是主修财务，你可以说 I majored in finance。你也可以念成 I majored in finance。前面我们学到 financial planner， financial 是 finance 的形容词，是财务的 financial planner， 财务上面财政的这种规划师，财务的规划师。这边的 finances 为什么加 s 呢？因为它是指你所有能够动用的钱财。比如说你的房地产啦，你的支票啦，或者是你的股票啦，你的现金等等，所以这边用 finances。接下来来学 scan， scan 是扫描， you scan the card 就等于是 you scan the cash card， 你只要扫描现金卡就直接从里面扣了哈。You scan the card when you pay for something， 用什么来 scan 呢？ You use the scanner， scanner 是扫描器。有医学用的 scanner， 这边是商用的这种 laser scanner， 镭射的扫描器，扫这个 cash card 后面的 barcode， barcode 就是条码 ，b a r c o d， 这样就可以直接扣了，很方便。我们来看下一段的对话。How much money is on this card? I put five hundred dollars on this card for you. That's very generous. Rich. This card is useless in small town. We don't have any cash card machines. Use it when you visit me in the big city. Rich,、uh, you boys must be hungry. Let me get you some chocolate cake. You have a great wife. Yes, I do. She's better than all the money in the world. She's better than all the money in the world. Well, we see how Simon feels about money here as well. Hey, it looks like we found the answer to our mission in this conversation. The mission is how much money is on the card. How much money is on the card? Well, Rich put five hundred dollars. On the card. Wow, that is a lot of money. Renee says that Rich is very generous. If you are generous, that means you like to give things to people or give money to people, and you do it happily. You are generous. But Simon says that the cash card is useless because they don't have cash card machines in small town. So it's useless. Well, this key word isn't useless. I mean, it is. The key word is useless. Say it with me: useless. If something is useless, that means you cannot use it. There is no way to use it. It's useless. Now we see l e s s at the end of this word. When we see that at the end of English words, it means without or doesn't have. If something is useless, it doesn't have a use. That's right. If something is useless, it has no use. If something is hopeless, it has no hope. If someone is jobless, they have no job. Well, we do have hope right now. That's right. <laughs> And a job. And so does Thomas. Let's go see what he has to say. 这里我们来学 generous 这个形容词。Generous 是慷慨的。哇，五百块美金的现金卡哎。That's 
generous. 你好慷慨哦。You're so generous. 你也可以用 it's 的句型。It's generous of you. It's generous of you. Wow, 你好慷慨哦。那么这边呢，来学 useless. Useless 是没有用的。它的相反是 useful. Useful 是有用的。有一个字跟它很像，叫做 unless. Unless 是除非。所以我们来造句，你可以说 ，information is useless， 消息资讯基本上是没有用处的。Information is useless unless it is used。所以消息给你呢，没有用，你没有去用它，善加利用，再多的消息都没有用。Information is useless unless it is used。这样子一个用法哈。后面提到 better than， well， 他觉得呢， your love is better than anything， all the money in the world， 人间的爱才是最值钱的哈。我们来看今天的 Inspector E。Inspector E。Hello everyone， I'm Mrs. E。Do you remember what Renee says is better？ Let's look again at this week's lessons together。The earlier you start, the better. The earlier you start, the better. The earlier you start, the better. The earlier you start, the better. Max, Renee, and Sarah are talking about money. Renee tells Sarah, "The earlier you start learning about money, the better." Now, Sarah needs to learn about money as soon as she can. We can also just say the earlier the better, the earlier the better. The earlier you do something, the better it is. We can also use this phrase in this way: the more, the merrier. The word merry, M-E-R-R-Y, means happy. So the more you have, or the more people there are, the happier, the more merrier you will be. Now let's look at some examples. If someone asks you, "Can I bring my friend to your party?" you can reply, "Sure." The more, the merrier. Or if someone asks you, "When will you go to bed?" you can say, "Oh, the earlier, the better." Now, the earlier you practice English, the better it will be for you. So remember, use it or lose it. This is Mrs. E signing off. Conversation replay. Renee is in the diner with Simon's brother, Rich. He has come from the big city to visit his little brother. Simon comes in to pick up Renee after work. He is surprised to see Rich there. Rich gives Simon a big hug. Rich has a card and gifts for him. Simon's rich brother always gives him things. Rich tells Simon to open the card. Simon opens the card. It has a cash card and a gift certificate for a financial planner inside. You're giving me more gifts to help me plan my finances. Thank you. Rich, you're welcome. One day you will be rich like me. <laughs> I don't want to be rich. So, what is this card? It's a cash card. They are popular in the city. People say they are the new debit cards. How do you use it? You scan the card when you pay for something. Then the money is taken from the card. How much money is on this card? I put five hundred dollars on this card for you. That's very generous. Rich, this card is useless in small town. We don't have any cash card machines. Use it when you visit me in the big city. Rich,、uh, you boys must be hungry. Let me get you some chocolate cake. You have a great wife. 
Yes, I do. She's better than all the money in the world. Calendar phrase. Ah, uh, no, Andrea, I'm all out. There's nothing in my pockets. Do you have any money? Uh, no, Gabe. I just have a piece of paper. I don't have any money. Oh well, I'd like to have some money in my pockets. Hey, let's learn our calendar phrase. The calendar、uh, phrase is: Do you have any money? Do you have any money? This is a question that you can ask if you're wondering if someone has money. And let's go and see this calendar phrase right now. Do you have any money? Do you have any money? 你有钱吗 Hey Jan, do you have any money? Yes, I do. Do you have any money? No, I don't. Can I borrow some money? No. Why not? You spent your money on tea. You should have saved your money. I know. Do you have any money? Yes. But it's for my lunch. Sorry, Dan. Do you have any money? Do you have any money? 你有钱吗 Well, that was useful. Hey, now it's time for us to find and listen to the question of the day. Eddie, from from me, the rich meerkat. Yes, the Eddie, rich the rich meerkat. Thank you. Will give us the question.、Mm-hmm. Okay, the question of the day. Do you want to be rich? Why or why not? Do you want to be rich? Why or why not? Well, I don't really want to be rich. I just want to have enough money and manage it well. But I guess being rich would be nice. Well, it might be nice. Okay, everybody. Thank you for joining us here on Let's Talk in English. We're on PTS and the radio, where money is not the most important thing. Thank you for joining us. Bye bye. English is right. Yes. Well, right.